is starting with features introduced in 2009 all the way to secret settings in dangerous mobs we're gonna be looking at the most amazing and weird features mojang removed from the game let's start going all the way back to 2009 when minecraft was still called cave game the first thing you obviously notice is the grass texture, a little bit oversaturated. This weird stone following the grass was the second block in history to be added to the game. Later on, as we all know, the texture was reworked into what we now know as cobblestones. But the real weird removed feature here comes after pressing the letter G. A clone of Steve with questionable shapes and movement would spawn right from inside of you. Oh, looks like they're having a pool party right there. Following a series of additions came the MD3 mod. Rena, Beast Boy, Steve and Black Steve were part of the in-depth phase of the game. These characters were created by Doc, the first artist to ever work for Minecraft. Doc also made a logo for Minecraft by the way, but it wasn't really used. Fire, lava and water were items you could actually hold. Fire was useful as a way to craft chain mail, which is now unobtainable through crafting. Lava and water would spread infinitely, causing a real mess to your world. Although interesting, the features we've seen so far don't compare to what Notch started to release alongside his recently founded company once he started working full time on Minecraft. Minecraft started to grow more and more, and since the game wasn't yet the big game we know today, the developers felt free to release impactful mechanics, items, and sometimes really useless features. As an example of that, Mojang decided to add cogs or gears to the game. Sounds cool, but they didn't really serve any purpose. It's speculated that they were an attempt to allow the creation of contraptions just like Redstone now does. Notch himself decided to start releasing the Secret Friday updates. The Secret Friday updates were a total of 10 updates that introduced, among other things, really important features like minecarts, boats, redstone, and sneaking. In one of these updates, Notch added saddles, but not just any saddles. These saddles were craftable and exclusive for horses requiring 5 leather and 3 iron ingots to be made. You can see that after clicking on the horse for a while, a hot animation would show, meaning a bone had been established. That allowed you to use the saddle to control the mob. Not long after this addition, saddles got removed and later fully replaced by the uncraftable ones we know today. At some point, Mojang also tried to add a quiver. A quiver item was intended to hold arrows, but wasn't really implemented because it would conflict with changes introduced in the combat update. It's now only obtainable through mods. But now that we have seen a little bit of the history around the first removed features, it's time to take a look at some unique blocks and even a special game feature that got removed. Let's start by taking a look at some blocks. Back in 2011, the devs had a plan to add a currency for trading with villagers. So. Here's why they added emeralds, right? You might ask. Not really. They first tried to add rubies, but abandoned the idea due to the developer Dinner Bone being red-green colorblind, and therefore having a hard time spotting the difference between redstone ore and ruby ore. The dirt slab was also a thing way before rubies, but let's say they weren't really compatible with Minecraft's world generation and had to be removed. Crying Obsidian is present in the game today, but it was also removed block. In 2000. 12 Jab said he needed to make more preparations for texture space, stating why he removed the block at the time. The intention was the creation of a block that could allow players to respawn. They later decided that bats would better fit this idea. Years later, the Crying Obsidian was re-added with a new texture for the Nether update. Now, Crying Obsidian allows players to craft a respawn anchor, and a respawn anchor allows you to set a respawn point in the Nether. In 2019, Mojang said they added a block accidentally to the game. This block called Wax Block was added to the game files and apparently it had something to do with bees and beehives but it got removed and never heard of again. Mojang later added this amazing YouTube subscribe block. Nah, just kidding. Sometimes I use Minecraft 1.8 to play on servers because of the combat mechanics. One thing you'll notice on that version is the super secret settings that I often misclick. Introduced in Minecraft 1.7, the super secret settings allowed the player to choose a variety of 21... Wait, is that... Piss, 21 trippy, and sometimes a little bit scary shaders. Come on, look at that shit. That's so creepy. Anyway, cool feature, but later removed in 1.9. Another thing that got removed was a potion. Actually, not one, but 
32 types of potions. These potions didn't really have any effect and were added in beta, designed to be crafted with the use of a cauldron brewing system. The potions got removed and cauldrons were deemed too complex, not user friendly, so cauldrons were replaced with the brewing stands. Still in beta, Mojang decided to add locked chests. It was a joke but it wasn't added in a snapshot, like the last April Fool's update. It was released in the normal version of the game. Locked chests would randomly spawn if the date of the computer was set to April 1st. By the way, the sound of me stepping on stones sounds like a mine in stones instead. But look, there it is. After clicking on the chest, the player would be given the option to access the Minecraft joke store. The joke store had pretty unique items, like a creeper saddle and a response from support for $494. Okay, now that we have seen unique blocks, special shaders, and the very first removed features, it's finally time to check mobs that can be found in game. To find the first removed mob, we have to head to this snapshot. Look, there it is. In this version, and for for some reason, Mojang decided to include killer bunnies in the game. This mob could easily surprise you, appearing from nowhere since it was so small. Killer bunnies were natural killers. Faster than normal rabbits, they attacked mobs like wolves and of course players. The only way to keep them from killing you was playing on peaceful mode but they would still kill your dog, so maybe Mojang did a good thing removing them. Actually, the lead creative designer of Mojang, Jab, said they were basically a random death event. You're basically walking through your world and then suddenly die without even knowing what hit you, or in this case, beat you. So that's why Killer Bunnies got removed. The Illusioner was added in 1.12, but the mob can only be spawned using commands now. Illusioners are illagers equipped with bows and if summoned will attack players, villagers and iron golems. The Illusioner is also capable of blinding players, creating identical versions of itself and even disappearing through the use of invisibility effect. Some people suggest that the Illusioner will be re-added in the future, but we can only wait and see what Mojang will decide. Like the ones we have just seen, this next mob can be found in any biomes and is probably the highest mob to be in game behind the ender dragon. Giants used to attack players in the past and unlike normal zombies, they don't burn in sunlight. Sadly, if you summon the giants today, it won't really do anything since the AI got removed. Come on, do something. Another undead mob that can't be found naturally is the zombie horse. Surprisingly, they are completely passive, just like any other horses. Also, unlike the other mobs, this one can be obtained with a spawn egg, but they can't be tamed naturally, so you have to use commands. Now, some of the following mobs can still be found in game, but they are so rare that I decided to include them. Let's take a look. If you spot a chicken wandering around the nether, it was probably part of a zombie fight beginning jockey. There's a 5% chance of a zombie fight piglin jockey spawning in the nether, but the piglin sometimes despawns, leaving the chicken alone. Or maybe they are just spies. Who knows? Back then you had a chance of finding a stack of not only two, but three striders. This was possible in Minecraft 20w13a. According to some players, it was even possible to spot variations like this. The skeleton horse is a neutral mob that has something around 1.5 to 4% chance of spawning naturally as a result of a thunderstorm. This horse is also called the skeleton trap horse because it can be triggered when a player comes within 10 blocks of it. The result is a lightning strike that causes the horse to transform into a skeleton horseman. Skeleton horses are a little bit different from usual horses. You see, you can't ride regular horses in water since you get detached from the horse. Now, skeleton horses can be ridden in water and in any depth, so you're able to ride them along the ocean or river floor. Cool, right? 